Welcome to a lesson on the math of round robin style tournaments. A common tournament style is single round robin tournaments where each team or opponent plays every other team or opponent and the champion is determined by the team that wins the most games. Ties are possible and are resolved based on league rules. An advantage of the round robin tournament style is that no one team has the advantage of seeding, which eliminates some teams from playing against each other based on rank of their prior performance. Rather, each team plays every other team, providing equal opportunity to triumph over each team. In this sense, round robin tournaments are deemed the fairest tournament style. One hindrance to employing a round robin style tournament is the number of potential games involved in tournament play to determine a winner. Determining the number of games can be found easily using a formula which, as we will see, can grow quickly in the number of games required for a single round robin tournament. Here's an example of an eight team single round robin tournament. Each of the eight teams will have a win-loss record. Those below, each round has four games, and there are seven rounds. There are four games per round because if there are eight teams, it takes two teams to play a game. Eight divided by two is equal to four. And there are seven rounds because each team plays the other seven teams once. For example, team one will play teams two through eight, resulting in seven games. Therefore, the total number of games we can see is four times seven, which equals 28. In general, in a single round robin tournament with n teams, the total number of games is equal to the product of n and n minus one divided by two. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to find the number of games in a single round robin tournament for each of the following number of teams. So first we have 12 teams, indicating n equals 12, which indicates the total number of games is equal to 12 times the difference of 12 and one divided by two, which gives us 12 times 11 divided by two, which gives us 66 games. Here we begin to see one of the disadvantages of a round robin tournament. 66 games is a lot of games, for example, to play in a weekend. If there were 17 teams, the total number of games is equal to 17 times the difference of 17 and one divided by two, which simplifies to 17 times 16 divided by two, which results in 136 games. I hope you found this helpful.